I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor. Many times we get people asking us, what constitutes a violation of an order of protection and how long do I have to contest an order of protection? Well, many times what happens is an order of protection will be filed against a person for contact with certain people or going back to a certain place such as a house. Now, if you received an order of protection saying you can't go back to your house, you have uh, unlimited time to request a hearing. Now, the order will be in place for a year, but most people are going to request a hearing right away. Once you do, they must set the hearing within five days so you can get back in your house, potentially. Now, if the order says you're not allowed to contact so-and-so or children, then it's 10 days, meaning once you request a hearing, they have to set the hearing within 10 days. But again, you don't have to request the hearing uh, at any specific time. You can wait a month if you want to request it. Now, what constitutes a violation of an order of protection? Usually, it's any contact whatsoever. So if they say, uh, you're not allowed to have contact. That doesn't mean you can text. It doesn't mean you can grab your brother or sister and say, hey, do me a favor and contact so-and-so for me, because that's simply a third party contacting at your request. So you have to be very careful. Now, many times in domestic relations or family law court, they'll say, you're allowed to still have contact, but only for the welfare of the children, drop off, pick up, and welfare questions. Where violations occur is when people get in these snippy little texts back and forth saying, I can't believe you're doing this to me, or you're such a bad person, that will be a violation. If any of these scenarios apply to you, give us a call and we can help you out.